Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download Auto for XP. So first, you want to do is click the link below in the description. Click download. It's download. Download directly to your drive, right here. So we'll wait for that to finish. Struct is the same thing. Go to binary. Look for the application which is here. What you could do is create a shortcut, put it to your desktop, or you could just click it. Whichever works easier for you. So we'll go ahead and open it. I have a pin to my taskbar. Just open it up now. First, what you want to do is select your base folder. If you're on X Plane 11, go to your um, X Plane application, whatever drive it's in, or wherever you have it, and click the application. Sorry, click the folder. So for me, I have X Plane 11 and 12. I have X Plane on Steam, so it's going to look like that. Sorry, it's going to look, it's going to look like this. You want to select custom scenery because I have it on Steam. But today we're going to be demonstrating 12. So what we could do, let's go to X Plane 12, custom scenery, select folder. It's going to show like that. I have it on my D drive. After that, what we want to do is select the settings icon. Right here where it says custom scenery directory, you're going to click that. And you want to use your custom scenery folder. So select custom scenery folder right there. In the custom, in the custom overlay, what you want to do is select your global airport. So click global airport, so X-Men 12 global scenery. Select this one in the global scenery folder. Select folder. These are the settings you can mess around with, but I like to leave them on default. What you can do is select this to true. Use mouse for inline. Okay, now you click once you finish, you click apply, exit. All right, here you want to click the real icon where you want to download the author. So we don't want the author, let's just do a quick author botch for free bot. So let's go here. Use your shift, left click, go back, click this one here. You want to select Bing, or you could use Google. I, I like to use Bing or Google, but for the purposes of this video, we'll use Bing. And I find 12 to be a perfect zoom level for when you're previewing it. Not too big, not too small. You want to click Preview. Just let it load. Here you can see the pile that we selected, Freeport. So what we want to do is... This is the main airport here, so not not necessarily you don't want to use a, a higher zoom level far from the airport. So what we could do is zoom level 16, so I won't be flying there or I'll just be flying over it. And the higher you go, the the you know the it's gonna look kind of it 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 wouldn't look as blurry as compared to like being super low with a lower zoom level. So we could select all the way here cover it up cover up the entire area let's just do this portion right here next we could select a zoom level of 17 we could start it here it's a bit closer to the airport so right here should be fine Next, you want to select some level 18. Let's just go closer to the airport, basically around the airport on the inside of it. And if you want to, if you want the, a more crispier look, a text, you could use some level 19 exactly over the airport, but it's going to come at a cost of space. So for the purposes of this video, we'll, we'll demonstrate and show you. We'll use some level 19 and you can see, you'll watch the space go up. So we just want to cover the airfield. That's pretty much it. See, it's 1.2. We could select apply. Sorry. Let's go back here. Now we could select assemble vector data, triangulate 3D mesh, draw watermarks, build imagery, extract overlays. Select botch build, nothing but botch build. Select botch build. Right, I was going to load and show you step by step of it 
download an author, so we want to give it a minute. It could take anywhere from two minutes to almost an hour, depending on the size of the size of the file or the tile that you created. So mine was 1.2, so it should be about a couple of minutes. So we'll be right back. And wait for that to load. As you can see, it's on step two. Just constructing the uh, images. Step three. And when you do this, guys, you don't want to have your sim open. I repeat, you don't want to have your sim open. Make sure your sim is closed when you're doing this. So once it's completed, we'll just come back once it's done and we'll go from there. Now it's completed. It says botch will complete in 11 minutes. So what we can do now is go ahead and exit this out. Let's go to X plane 12, custom scenery. And here it is the file that we, the tile that we downloaded 9.26 megabytes. So we'll go back, let's go back to the auto tile. Correct, sorry, the auto folder. Binary, and let's look for the overlays. For well, then we want to drag that into our custom scenery. This is it here. So we could go ahead. Don't worry, you don't have to copy it. You could drag it because it recreates the that exact overlay folder every time you install a new auto. So Go ahead and drag that to custom scenery. Let's go ahead and open up X Main 12. Go ahead and once you open that up, we could go ahead and close X Main right back out. Now let's go to X Main 12, custom scenery. Let's go to the scenery I and I. Uh, let's make sure this is underneath our overlays of the overlays go ahead delete that and you want to make it look exactly like this so make sure that all the auto is underneath so it doesn't cover all the trees and buildings and stuff and you want to make sure that the auto tile that we downloaded is under the overlays which is here so you want it to look exactly like this go ahead press save now we can open up our x 12 and load up the tile that we made let's check it out sim let's go ahead go on the outside let's take a look so as you can see we have our author see and this is zoom level 19 see how sharp it is Go up higher. Let's take a look around. See, in the further up we go, remember we use the zone level 16, so it's going to look blurry close up. But once you're high, it won't look as bad. So. That's how you install Arthur for X-Men 12. Thanks for watching.